Hey you guys, what's up? It's Vicky J and I am going to show you how I detangle my hair for washing and how I moisturize my hair. As you can see, we're gonna be using water, clips, a comb or brush, and some conditioner. This one is from Macadamia, as well as Comet Biologics Detangling Ghee. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to wet my hair with a little bit of water and make sure I am fully incorporated into my hair. And then I'm going to separate a section of hair to begin the detangling process. Now you can separate your hair into as many sections as you'd like. I just use my fingers to separate my hair and it, you know, just get myself a generous section. And then I pin the rest back with the clips. You can use alligator clips, you can use butterfly clips like I'm using here. Anything works just fine, bobby pins too. Okay, so now I'm going to wet my hair just a little bit more so that I can finger detangle it. You wanna do this before you start the um, detangling process in full, just so that it's easier in the long run. Now I'm going to take a generous dollop of the detangling ghee, and this is a pretty thick detangler. So I incorporate this into my hair first to kind of help re-moisturize it, and then I go in with the conditioner because it's a little bit looser in texture, and I use that to create the slip that I need to detangle my hair in full. Once it's fully incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and use my wide tooth comb, and I'm going to start from the ends to the root. That's the way you wanna detangle your hair. You never wanna go from the root to the ends. It's gonna create a lot of snagging, a lot of breakage. So just go from the ends to the root to make sure that your hair is fully detangled, and once it is, you wanna twist it out of the way. Once this twist is completed, I'm going to do the rest of my hair. You should have something that looks a little like this once it's done, and I will do my whole head right now <laughs> and prepare to wash it. I'm just gonna go to the sink and get to work, and when I get back, you can see I use the As I Am Cleansing Pudding. I'm sorry, this is the cleansing shampoo, actually. My hair is nice and bouncy. It's ready for moisture. So I'm gonna be using Comet Biologics products for this entire moisturizing process. I use the heavy cream, the softening serum, and the hydrating balm. I'm going to twist the entire half of my head out of the way, and then I'm going to separate the side I'm gonna work on immediately into half. I am using the heavy cream on the back of my hair right now, and I'm just making sure I massage it through and get every single strand. And then I'm gonna come through with about a dime-sized amount of the softening serum to seal in the moisture from the heavy cream. Once I've done that, I can now use my styling agent, which is the hydrating balm, and I'm using a generous amount because it's going on a full quarter of my head. I'm going to just make sure that I fully incorporate that into my hair once again, and once that section's done, it should look like this. Nicely separated, soft and bouncy curls, and then I'm going to untwist the front and do the exact same thing to the rest of my head. But first, I'm gonna make sure that I pin the hair that's finished out of the way. And there you have it. That's my hair fully moisturized. And now all that's left to do is style it. I'm just gonna do a really simple side part and zhuzh the hair into place. And I should have something like this when it's all said and done. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video about how I prepare my hair for shampooing and how I moisturize it once it's been cleansed. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I post videos three times a week. Let me know whether or not you've used As I Am and Comet Biologics products or how you moisturize your curls. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.